SCP-957 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-957 is to be monitored via remote video surveillance set up within the location where it currently resides. Personnel are allowed to approach and interview the entity when given clearance by four level 3 or higher employees. One D-Class subject is to inhabit the closest residence to SCP-957's location as possible in order to minimize civilian exposure to the entity. SCP-957's house is to be monitored for signs of SCP-957-1 exhibiting unusual behavior, namely feigning helplessness due to blindness. If this is observed, a D-Class subject is to be sent to escort SCP-957-1 back into its house. Description SCP-957 is a humanoid entity currently residing within a house in <laughs> Kentucky. This organism measures approximately 2 meters in height and 75 kilograms in weight and appears to be devoid of internal organs as observed via a large opening on its ventral torso. Furthermore, it does not appear to require sleep or nourishment. Interaction with personnel has shown that the entity is capable of speech and is fluent in English, but prefers to talk in a currently unknown language. It is not openly hostile towards Foundation personnel yet often refuses to cooperate with interviews and testing. Attempts to restrain SCP-957 for these purposes have proven ineffective due to the entity's disproportionate level of strength. SCP-957 will always reside in a house inhabited by a single human, hereby designated SCP-957-1. When the instance of SCP-957-1 that SCP-957 is living with dies, the entity will demanifest from the location and reappear in the nearest location that fits the above mentioned requirements. Upon doing this, it will seek out the individual residing there and force the human's body through an apparent portal via its chest cavity, where the subject will remain for approximately four hours before emerging. After this, SCP-957-1 will be missing its eyes, as well as exhibiting drastic changes to its memory. These individuals will believe that they have been blind all their life and possess knowledge of Braille and living without sight. Additionally, they will believe that SCP-957 is a close family member, a dear friend, or a partner in an intimate relationship that had been severely burned all over its body. As such, they show affection for the entity but refuse to touch it. Once every month, SCP-957-1 will go into crowded areas and feign distress due to its blindness. It appears to do this in order to deceive people into helping it back to its house. Once SCP-957-1 has successfully lured a human subject into the building, it will lock the doors, shout, walk to the dining room, and sit down until SCP-957 addresses it after dealing with the human. At this point, SCP-957 will approach the human, and a black spherical barrier will surround the two subjects. This obstruction is composed of an unknown substance and is apparently impenetrable. The structure usually remains in place for approximately five hours, However, it has been noted to demanifest as early as 30 minutes after manifestation. The human normally appears to have undergone extreme physical alteration during this time. In 30% of observed cases, the human is reduced to piles of organs seemingly organized by their respective biological system. SCP-957 usually then uses these remains to prepare a meal for SCP-957-1. The other 70% are taken to the fireplace of the house and burned. Addendum 957-Gamma On 16-10-2006, SCP-957 was noted to approach a retrieved human during the normal monthly event. The opaque barrier normally surrounding the subjects manifested as usual. However, it was noted to randomly become transparent, yet still present during this event. 
Personnel reported that the view from the area showed a scene with a group of entities resembling SCP-957 gathered around a conical object that was mostly obscured by the figures. However, it appeared that the captured human was within the construct and that the entities were data redacted, which continued for approximately five hours. At this point, the human, presumably dead, was removed from the object, dismembered, and sorted into piles of organs. At this point, the barrier demanifested and SCP-957, along with the human remains, reappeared within the house. Addendum 957-Lambda As of 1303-2007, Foundation linguists have managed to translate enough of SCP-957's language to decipher basic sentences and phrases spoken by the entity. This information is not to be made known to SCP-957, and personnel are to continue to communicate with it solely in English. Data redacted. Oin resime jan grek jagon. Dane, dane. Iran ekonosame ayagakan. Amuglan blitzlbut matose woflet. Ayan gok matura janata. Diamond, diamond. Yalsas kes mako saner ganer das. Yalsas maskwan ze maskia gan vlesaker. Valbatun. Equil. Aishkan bener se talolit. Se miol dakal re sampan as der treun. An. Mashno Fredok, Vestmaker, 